channel. Today I am here with none other than the wonderful Francis Quinn. Which is weird because I only ever call you Fran. Or I know. I don't see you by your full name. Get your full name. And a little bit purpose. You're getting the real... You've got your own special spoon. I know, you haven't. These are our microphones. I know, you're yeah. getting the real full name treatment Cordless. today. Cordless, they're great. Anyway, I thought I'd bring you here today to do a bit of baking with me. It's, it's nearly Easter. It's nearly Easter. I, I just wanted to have you on. We, we wanted to do something like this for a really long we time. Had. It was going to be brownies. And then we were like, Easter, let's do little... No, like little fried egg cakes. We're actually referring to your your book, No Soft Promo. <laughs> I bring one everywhere with me. So where are we getting this recipe from? <laughs> We're getting it from Pet. I don't know what the pages look. Like. What's the page? It's ninety nine. Ninety nine. There's okay. no flake in it. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but yeah, you may recognise Fran from. I don't know, there's a baking show you did. I could just keep this on my head. And yeah. well, I can't even fit it in my head. <laughs> there's a baking show she did that a few people watch sometimes. Just a little it? thing. Just a little, just a little gig. She won it. No, no biggie. But we're not going to talk about that today because you are far, you're, you're far more strings to your bake off bow than just the bake off. <laughs> so we're not going to mention that today. Well, that, yeah, that's We're going to talk mentioned. about all your amazing baking designs because as well as baking, you're an incredible designer. You're Aww. just... She's bloody talented. If yeah. there's ever someone that can do it all, it's not me. You. <laughs> come on in, come on in, Shirley. <laughs> if there's anyone that can do it all, she's our special guest. No, it's you. But today we're going to be doing these fried egg cakes. They're gorgeous little cupcakes and yeah, you, you tell me about them. They are know. super easy. Should we, should we go through? Let's go through. What do you need for these cakes? So, you need, now, normally you'd only need one egg to 50 grams of everything. But, and I'd say do it in like a, with a handheld electric beater, because if you do do it in a KitchenAid, because there's not a lot of ingredients, it all goes to the bottom. Yeah. So we've decided to triple the amount of ingredients, and then we're going to make extra cakes for you and Jo. Oh, Because she, Easter is all about sharing. She knew I was hungry, yeah. Oh. So, we're going to put in here 150 grams of softened butter. Look at these posh beans. Softened from, uh, from my Softened butter. Oh, from my it, it, they sweet. They, they know what they're doing. Uh, it's gone in there, oh. beautifully. 150 grams of butter, and then the same weight, 150 grams of caster sugar. Do you want to do that now? Oh yes, Because it's please. teamwork. Woo! Perfectly done there, couldn't have done any better. And then we're going to put it in your lovely, what, what colour? Is this pistachio? I'd say it was pistachio. It's beautiful, beautiful. Right. I never use this attachment either, so if you do have a, a KitchenAid or a mixer, it was not the one I expected. No, it's the beater. Start off slow. Because we don't slow want to down. slow down. And then remix up. MJ, it's thriller or fine in here. If it does start to go up the side of the bowls, these are a godsend in the kitchen. These are like a silicon spatula. I thought you were gonna make a joke. These are like a silicon spatula. I was like, well, that's what that's what that's it is. what it is. So sometimes that happens. So just get it from around the side of the bowl. And then it smells like fairy cakes. Carry on enjoying it. Come on. That's beating it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're like the hairy bikers and things like that. There's always one that has to clarify the joke. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. These are also a godsend in the kitchen. That is amazing. Yeah, it's like a really, because you get loads of like really good zest off. So do you want to have a go with that then? I'd love to. We're have zesting those. three lemons in. Now, if you were making yeah. Just the 50 gram approach, you just do one lemon, so 50 we're tripling grams everything. We're tripling it, so we're going to be here for an hour and a half. <laughs> I had to zest 24 flipping lemons for the final wedding cake on that show. Oh my god. Yeah, it took a while. But it was an amazing bake though. Also, we should talk about your baking playlists you're doing at the moment, because they are amazing. Featuring MJ. Yeah, I mean, if you didn't already know, if you don't follow Frances, A, go and follow her, but B, she does these amazing baking playlists. So I'm a real playlist person when I'm in the kitchen. You, I know we've been sharing. We like to have six stuff. new. Oh, I'm really I can't, bad at I this. can't. Oh, I can't. I like. Is there a tip? I love because some people do do it that way. I tend to do it over the top. Oh, not, mean, not like over the top. God, you're over the top with your lemon. I mean, it's like it's like oh, you could this, bake off doing oh, this. This is all I did. This is a technical challenge in itself. It really is. So I wanted to talk about your playlist. So. I'm a real music person in the kitchen. I always have six music on or gold radio. I've been, yeah, been listening to a bit of gold in there, so we're getting all this Oh, ready. so good. But you, have, you make a lot of playlists which kind of tie in the elements of the bake you're doing. And I, how, how do you get ideas for that? I, I, I've always got music on in the kitchen because. How do you find your artists? 
It's weird, sometimes like they almost leapfrog onto other ones, but I like the idea of a baking playlist. Yeah. So if you think about it, like say a cake takes about sort of, it can take anything from between 25 minutes, 45 minutes to get it in the oven. Yeah. But obviously there's different stages, like when you're beating that, you want more of a fast paced piece yeah. of music. Yeah. When you're doing something like folding in the flour, you want something a bit more laid back. Yeah. Um, so it's all about the baking remix. Ooh. And then you can like, because I'm, I'm really guilty for puns and whatever else, so then it's choosing tracks that, like, I don't know if you've noticed that. No, I haven't, not no, sure. yeah. That um, play alongside it, so you want a bit of brown sugar, you can have a bit of, there's so many tracks Good. that lead into it all. What would you have right maybe, now? Maybe we're going to have to put a playlist together for this. I think we should maybe have it along the bottom to say what kind of songs would be most Oh god, around. yeah, like uh, Lemon J, um... The Lemon Heads. Lemon the Heads. Lemon Heads. Lemon U2. So we're going to use the juice of one of them to go in the cake mixture yep. to keep it moist. Oh, what that word that everyone hates. So we're adding all the zest of the lemon into the cream butter and sugar mixture to make a zesty. That's cream butter, not cream and butter. Cre yeah, that's fine. We haven't got double cream in here. Into shape. Get a little bit of a... We're not going to be synchronised here. And now we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna crack the eggs. Crack the eggs. Oh yeah, crack me up. Now I sometimes I look on the edge and I would crack them straight in there. But kids, you don't want shells in there. So okay. let's take precautionary measures. How do you have a technique? Because I oh, is it? Yeah, should we have a look? We I'd like manage. to see your egg cracking technique. Okay. I feel like you've probably got one. Well, it depends. Maybe this looks get... like a good bowl that it is gonna give a good crack. It's got a good. Oh, bowl. it's got a good crack. So give it a little bit of a tap. Oh. oh, oh, she's in. Oh no, the shell! Oh, the best way to get shell out is to use the shell, and it like magnetizes itself. Really? <gasps> Do you want a slot? Yeah, I'll slot in. Sometimes you can beat them up beforehand, but it's not necessary. We're not necessary. Perfect. In they go. Perfect. In the beat. Going. Okay. So this is just then 150 grams of self-raising flour going in. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can just fold the flour because you don't want to overwork the flour. Don't need to overwork. Like. Oh, we're just going with it, Liz. We're just going. Okay. So you're just looking to combine the dry with the wet. Just okay. combining. Oh yeah, you don't need to spend a lot. To make them extra lemony and moist. Ooh. We're gonna add the juice of a lemon, and the reason I'm putting this on because it will catch the pips. I was thinking, like, <laughs> did you see me? And I was literally flicking them away, like no. No, the sieve is the sieve is the answer. They're doing the whole thing. Use your use your grip. Okay. Oh! oh Squeeze those lemons. I'm so. I'm so. Weak. It's a workout as well. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just folding folding in the juice Oof. into the cake mixture and getting any of the extra dry ingredients from. So you're looking for a dropping consistency. You want it to like go plop. Yeah, top of drop. So if you, you might need to add, it depends on the size of your lens. You might to add, want to add a little bit more. Mm, that, oh. I think. I think we've got that. Do you want more juice? Um, okay. I think, I think we're good. So now we're going to fill the little cases. Which we have prepared earlier. So where do you get these little mini ones these from? These are available from all good kitchenware stores or online. Perfect. They're like little mini muffin cases. Or like little chocolate truffle. truffle. Yeah, yeah, good for all sorts of things. Yeah, you could do little tiffins or brownies in there. They've obviously got self-raising flour in. So you want to fill them about three quarters full. Right. And actually you don't want them to have a dome top because we're going to be putting like the little uh, uh, on top. Flat. So you want it pretty flat. If you were doing loads of them, bit of production line, you can put the mixture in like a, um, oh, one of these, little cut the end, and then just, because then you feel like you're really in a patisserie kitchen if you're starting to fill a piping bag. You do, I feel very professional all of a sudden. And if you are doing lots of them, this is quicker. Right. But old school spoon is fine. The old school spoon. The old school spoon is fine. Right. And then if you want to cut it properly because you want it here. Yeah, that there. Lovely jubbly. Perfect. And then just come in from the top. Oh, then no, that's, that I mean? that's far more satisfying it's marble, to watch. It's far more. And so quick. It's quicker, isn't it? So we're going to go and pop them in the oven. 
Should I take these? Preheated oven, isn't it? Preheated to 180 degrees, fan assisted. Fan assisted, or uh, 170. Oh, and, and they're really good. little, and, and Liv's got the bonus so ones. So how long will these take in the oven? These will take about 10 minutes, maybe okay. less. These will probably take a lot bit longer. They'll take probably double trouble. Okay, yeah. well, we'll just leave them and bring these out, so let's get going. When they're in the oven, we are going to make the icing. The water go awesome. icing, the little fried eggs. Yeah, be really super productive and get it done while it's out there. So what you're going to need is... We've got some icing sugar here. I haven't even bothered sipping it. I, I mean... Oh. What, what if you've got real big clumps in there, then I would say give it a bit of a sieve. A little pat. And then rather than just use normal water, we're going to use the juice of the lemons that we zested, so they're extra zingy. Ooh. So do you want to use the powers of your cutting skills again, Liv? Yeah, I can do that. And I will be here with the sieve. Perfect. To catch the uh, pips. Oh, that looks so glossy. Glossy, and we didn't need to sieve it. So Amazing. Amazing. So that was really quick. Super quick. So that's ready now. And then we've got some orange curd, which you could have made. You could, there is a recipe in the book. It is really quick, but I've used orange curd rather than lemon. So the yolks, they're those free range. Free range, free range. yolks. If you want to have battery hand eggs, use lemon. Yeah, I'm joking. But um, yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is a good one. Perfect, so that's amazing. And now we've just got to wait for the cakes. Got to wait for the cakes. Come on. Come on, cup of tea. Yeah. And here they are. Here she comes. Look at you've been busy. I have been busy. They've cooled. We threw them in the garden to we cool did. down. Honestly, it's a really good tip, guys, at this time of year. But we are now going to ice them. We're running out of light, but you know, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. This we're should take long. Bakers, we've got 10 minutes remaining. The great thing is, every fried egg's a bit different. So, all you want to do. As one knows. As one knows well. So. Coming close. Just a little dollop. I always have loads of latte sticks in my kitchen at home and just use that to sort of help spruce around. So do a few. I mean, I'd even say you could just use that. The latte stick. The latte stick. That sounds fat. I just call them a stirrer. A stirrer. Oh, oh a little lat a little stirrer. I thought that sounds a bit fancy. Oh wow, that first egg has gone. There you see, he's a, he's a, <laughs> I mean, you're getting your money's worth if you got him at a brunch place. So maybe go down the wooden stirrer or latte stick approach. You see some of them have risen up, so you want the ones that got we like just, a, we take away and uh, we, we just we, eat those. We dispose they're, of them. They're very good to dispose of. Mm. And then we've got a bit of curd. Mm. A little yolk. They truly are dippy eggs. If you were just doing the cakes as well and you don't want to make them into little fried egg cakes, then you could mix a bit of the extra lemon juice with a bit of caster sugar and make a bit of a drizzle top. So mini like lemon drizzle mini cakes. Lemon drizzle. You're full of great ideas. Knock it back. Knock it back. Knock it back. <laughs> so we're just going to carry on doing this. You can do it whichever way you like. So you yeah. can either, sorry. I'm quite you can either do the whole thing. I'm quite liking the poached egg approach. Yeah, and then you just add it on to the top of your a bit of um, curd. And oh, it's that it. easy to decorate. You could even do a double yolka. Oh. If you want a bit more curd. And if I have one thing, if you really do like the orange curd, you can maybe oh. take out, although they're tiny anyway, I was going to say, maybe have an apple core or take out the middle, fill it with some curd, and then cover the top. Delish. A really great way, if you wanted to like give them away as a gift or display them, the egg box. Such a cute idea. It's the perfect little. So adorable. So you've got eggs in an egg box. Imagine receiving that. At Easter. And they're so simple as well, but they look really impressive. And so you get loads of little, you could have a whole dozen box, and if you wanted to, you could put a sticker on and make them bespoke. Amazing. Free range cakes by Liv. And Fran. And Fran. High five. And that's a wrap. <laughs> um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and loved baking along with us. You could bake along, actually. You could bake along. Or tell us what you've been listening to. Yeah, Bill and Jay. Yep. Or anything else. <laughs> and yeah, I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like this, let us know. So you'd like to see if you'd like to do it. Maybe do another one for another season. Brownies. 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 Fourth and brownies. But yeah, we've had such a lovely time. Thank you so oh, much for coming. Happy Easter, everyone. Happy Easter. Hope you eat lots of chocolate and rest and spend time with your loved ones and all of those important messages. And yeah. They yeah, need to give it a thumbs up, don't they? Yeah. Not even on YouTube, but I know they need to give it a thumbs you up. You know, you know. And go and check Fran out if you don't. I'm sure you do because she's amazing. If you don't, go and check her out. And and I will see you next week. Bye. Bye.